Okay, this next one. I have no idea what this next one is. Like, like I know that it's a video game. There's some kind of combat related to it. Is what it looks like from the thumbnail. Um, although thumbnails can be deceiving. Um, is it? Oh, one second. As I'm clicking on the video, it's saying Warhammer 40k. So this is something Warhammer 40k. Um, yeah. So let's check it out. We are watching the trailer for Zephon, official first gameplay trailer. Get your first look at gameplay from Zephon, the, up the upcoming 4X strategy game set in a post-apocalyptic world from Proxy Studios, the developers of Warhammer 40k Gladius. Oh, it's not a Warhammer 40k, but it's in the same vein. It's made by the same people who made Gladius, and that was a pretty good game. Um, from what I've heard from people who played it. It's a 4X game. Um, yeah, so. Anyway, coming to us from IGN, we're going to like the video. 1 minute, 41 second. Trailer, are you ready? Yes. Here we go. Okay. So we got the 4X style here. Is this in real time? Or is it turn-based? Okay, so this is a turn-based. The reason that I mentioned the turn-based thing is just because, um... Dune Spice Wars is a 4X strategy game, but you play it in real time. No, no hexes and moving your characters across the chessboard. That won't be the last of them. You're going to die. Dang it, I'm just now realizing this too. Look at this. Why does it keep doing this? There. Now you guys can see. You're going to die. Okay. I mean, I think that the graphics look pretty good, actually. Now that I've, you know, put up the graphics settings on YouTube. Okay. Dragoons would drag their spears through the vile waste of... Ebcloth. Okay. So it looks like it almost it actually looks very similar to the Warhammer 40k style lore. Oh, out there. It's got like technology and magic and aliens. I said I like the art style. You like the art style? Yeah. I yeah, think it looks good. Art. Yeah. Okay. Zephon. So, I mean, if you're into... If you're into 4X games, this looks like kind of... You know, like, I, I mean, if I know 4X games. I've played them before. I wouldn't say that they're, like, my favorite genre ever, but they're pretty good, you know? And, and um, this is going to be very, I mean, it looks very familiar as far as 4X games. That's Let's just be crazy. honest here. So um, it's going to be the little details that are going to be the things that are going to uh, really um, put this above or below its competition or how, you know. So, yeah, yeah but I do know that Gladius was, Gladius was was um, pretty good. Like Angry Joe did a review of it, said that Gladius was great. So a, a lot of potential here to do some good. If you really like 4X games, this one may be just for you. Um, did it did it give a date? What did you think, Ellie? You said you liked the graphic style. Yes, I mean I agree with what you said because I don't see this game offering anything new. Mm -hmm. So probably, like you said, it it all depends on the on the details. And of course, if you like uh, this kind of game, you know that's now something that I would play. So I don't. Yeah. You know, I don't. I don't want to give a negative review. Since I didn't play a game, and also I really know that I have a prejudice against the game because it's not something that I have the time to play and stuff. So it looks right. very cool, though, like the way, like, uh, you know, holding the whole fort, I don't know, city, whatever you call it. 
Yeah. The detail, like the, you could see all the details. That was pretty cool. So. Yeah, graphical quality. I mean, it looks great. Um, yes, exactly. That's what I meant. Sorry. Oh dang it! Excuse me, guys. I'm getting an email, but it might be something important. Just let me just check real quick. Nope. Who's checking their phone now? Not while you were talking. <laughs> I was yeah, talking, and you of. just stopped. Yeah, oh, whatever. <laughs> um, all right. Well, yeah, let's check out the comments and see what people are saying. So Gladius is hands down the most fun 4X out there. See, there you go. Hmm, interesting. Uh, this will be great. From the developers of Warhammer 40K, Gladius is... Okay, so this is just another person. Wait, why? Copying the description of another video again? This is what a game trailer should be. Just show us how the game looks like. What, how the game, how the game looks like. Come on, use proper grammar, guys. While it's actually being played, sick of cinematic trailers that show nothing about how the game actually runs, looks like, etc. Uh, I agree with this to an extent, kind of. I, th I, th I like the cinematics if it's, it's going to talk about, if it's going to talk about, um, uh, the story, you know. Looks like Civilization Beyond Earth. That's because it's a 4X game. Oh. Uh, this is Civ Beyond Earth in 2023. Hopefully it lives up to our expectations. The game looks stunning. This is a war game, just like Gladius. See, because, yeah, it is true. Like, Civilization After Earth... Our Civilization Beyond Earth... It wasn't so much about war. It was about different... Different stuff. Um, this one is about combat. So, like, as far as it being a 4X game, it's more combat-driven than some other ones you may have seen. So, But, um, check it out. Let me see. They didn't... It doesn't have a release date yet that I can see. Uh, let me just real quick see how much it's going to cost over on Steam. Because I would say, like, th th like, Civilization was like a $50, $60 game when it first came out. It was like a... It's a AAA release, and you were paying AAA prices. So let's see what Zephon. Yeah, it doesn't say, but it does say that you're going to be paying. Uh, it does say that it's going to be coming out next year. So check it out when it comes out next year, guys. And if if I see any more about it, I'll let you guys know. Um, yeah, Gladius is forty dollars now, probably sixty book, sixty to seventy bucks when it first came out. So yeah, it sounds like it was worth it though. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, it definitely was. And then there was DLCs. The thing is, is that's how DLCs should be: is that you get a great base game. Yeah. And then they release different, they release DLCs that are like five bucks, not twenty dollars, five dollars, six dollars, seven dollars, maybe, maybe ten, depending on how much, but but not twenty, you know. And then and then they release a bunch of those. You get more and more and more game, and that's how you keep your game alive. So, but anyway, um, okay, let's move forward into the next one. Here we go. Don't forget to check me out on Twitch and join the Discord where you can voice chat with me while a live stream and you won't be recorded or anything on YouTube and Twitch, so that's pretty cool. You can also find me on Facebook and Instagram. If you like to read, you can see my after action reports on my blog. And if you are interested, you can get some merch from my Spring store. The links for everything are in the description below.